apparently I'm live. According to my sources, I am live. I don't know if anyone's in here, but if they are, if you can hear me and you know, that'd be great if you could tell me. If not, I'm just gonna check it myself real quick. Make sure that I can hear myself. Right, everything's good. We are we are good to go. Do you know what? It'd help if I actually got the game up as well. That'd be top class. Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate it. Okay. I think it made sense to pick this game out of the three that are on. In terms of competitiveness, it made sense. Let's shove that under there. All the garbage goes underneath the uh, the covers, so you can't see anything. Put a pole up, actually. I've taken Huddersfield, by the way. I think Huddersfield's got this one. I'm not too confident about it, but I just think based on recent form, Giants have found a bit of consistency. Leeds have been a touch off, let's say. I do think, though, with Leeds even like being off... They've still played, like, in the last few games they've played Saints twice. And, you know, Warrington. Which are still tough games, but I think results-wise you just can't really accept that level. Especially the result against Warrington was abysmal. Interesting. Who's Wigan got next week? Who have they got? Um, Hull KR. Good shout then, actually. Good shout. Whoever on TikTok, if they're here, just said... Well, there we go. So yeah, I might do another one next week. We're going to be Hull Kingston Rovers. That'd be an interesting one. Been really wanted to see Hull KR take on tougher, tougher games, tougher opponents last couple of weeks. So thoughts on Chris Hill? I'll admit I haven't seen much of him recently, so I don't really know what kind of level he's performing at. But when he was at Warrington, like the first year he was there, I could already tell he was like captain material. I think at his best he can drag easily drag three players with him and is a terrific leader but is extremely prone to giving away penalties which is what I hated when he was at Warrington just the majority of the time if we gave away a penalty it was Chris Hill sometimes it was like Daryl Clark or um, someone else that was did it a lot but um, yeah, Chris Hill gave away a lot of uh, a lot of penalties, but I think he's a great leader, great prop forward. I think most teams would be very lucky to have him. So, 
solid solid player, solid individual. Three minutes to go. There's a good point made by John Wilkin there. I think it was John Wilkin about the patience of Leeds Rhinos fans. Because on one hand, they've got a really strong squad, good individuals, and they're still trying to learn. But on the other hand, it's like the last couple of years they've been competitive, but still a little bit off. So I think Leeds fans, they need to be patient, but. They'll still be competitive. Right, they're finally walking out. I always feel like even though it's 10 minutes, I give myself 10 minutes, I still feel like it's just dragging on. It's taking way too long. I'm still unsure about um, Matt Frawley. I'm still on the fence at the moment with him. He didn't get much game time at the Raiders. And when he did play, I didn't really see anything particularly special. But there's always that thing of like, even like second grade or second rate NRL players would just like completely crush it over here. So, um, who do you think wins today? I think Huddersfield wins today. Just based on recent form and between the two teams. Looking at the team list as well, both teams pretty much as strong as they could be, really. Just based on form, I think Huddersfield right now. But I'm not, absolutely not writing off Leeds because they have put in some strong performances. Their two games against St. Helens were particularly competitive and they've also had tough games against Salford, Hull KR and Warrington. So... Leeds will make it competitive, I just think. Just based on form, I think Huddersfield's got it. <sighs> right, they're doing the last post, even though I should really be talking... I'm going to be quiet for the next minute or so.
Okay, there we go. Not exactly exciting for a live stream. I understand that, so I apologise, but I just wanted to be respectful and not talk during that. But we're good now. We are good. To be fair to Leeds, though, they've got, with them having Brody Croft, game changer, anything can happen, really. So, I'm just hoping for a good game. That's all I want. That's all I want. We're actually finally about to kick off. Thank God. Here we go. Okay. First carry from Leeds Rhinos. We'll start the set from about their own 20. What I want to see from Leeds, I want to see them take more control over the game. Win the battle through the middle. Get good field position. Retain that field position by keeping Huddersfield pinned back. That's what I want to see from Leeds in particular. Fourth tackle, they're at their own 40. So, pretty standard opening set. Brody Croft with the kick now though. Swift takes it cleanly. So, pretty standard start. Nothing too crazy. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Um, but that's solid, though, from Leeds pushing uh, Swift back. Well, it's only two defensive tackles so far from Leeds, and they've already pushed Huddersfield back on each one. So, some real intent. Huddersfield spreading the ball now, though. Fourth tackle. What is the other halfway? Last tackle now. Clune kicks it short side. Easy take for Roberts. Lead start about 14 metres out. So yeah, pretty standard start, nothing crazy, but... Huddersfield think their first set was a bit more free-flowing, made a few more metres on their set, but... See, this is, I always hate games early on, because teams are always trying to be real perfect and precise about how they do stuff. There's never really any attempts to do anything, uh, anything crazy. Good speed through the middle from Leeds, though. Is that a knock-on or knocked out? So, yeah, it's a knock-on, that's fair. And the Akers. Well, good speed through the middle from Leeds, but... Yeah. Fair enough. I oh, know it's a lead scrum. Okay. I thought they were giving us a knock-on. My bad. My bad. Leeds should be in, in a good position here, actually. So starting just in front of the halfway line. So they should be firmly in front of Huddersfield's trial line at the end of this set. So Leeds in Huddersfield's half now. St. Helens with a 6-0 lead already. And so it begins. And so it begins. I've got to remember I need to update the score as well. I keep forgetting about that, so I need to... Have that ready to go. Croft with the ball. They shift left. 15 metres out now. Fourth tackle. Akers at dummy half. Goes right. Gives it to Smith. He goes left. Where are they going now? Where are they going? Last tackle. Akers at dummy half. Goes right with Frawley. Kicks up to the corner. Let's just not challenge that then, shall we? I mean, I'm not a Leeds fan, but... What a waste that is. It's not even like the kick was... 
far away to chase. It was firmly well in front of the in-goal area. It was zero attempt to go for that. Anyway, early kick from Jake Connor. That's an interesting one. Maybe a 40-20 attempt there. But, I don't know. Le Leeds are in a great position. I know it's early on, but you're in a great position like that and you finish the set like that just seems a bit, a bit of a waste. But it's already uh, last tackle down for Huddersfield at their own 40. Are they going to kick at all? Jake Connor's going to kick that one. Right, so right now Leeds... In terms of field position, looking pretty good. So they're going to start from just in front of their own 40. But are they actually going to do anything now? That's the question. Ben Miller carries the ball. Make about one or two metres there. Commentators just made a good point about the Challenge Cup and the extra week off that Leeds had. I don't know if that's going to do anything for them. Like, There's always that thing, people might remember it a few years ago, like playoffs. The team that normally got a bye was like a little bit rusty. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh my god. Right, well that's why Aletsky doesn't play halfback then. If anyone was unsure... Oh my god. So Oletsky's through. Just launches that ball over Brodycroft's head. <laughs> Jesus. Absolute quality from the lad. But, good start from Leeds. Again, winning the field position battle. Huddersfield now over the halfway line. First time in Leeds territory, so... Let's see what they can do with this one. Leeds, I don't think necessarily need to score off that one, but if they, you know, even if it just went to Brodie Croft and then he could was tackled, they could just set up. Huddersfield going left, that look forward, that also look forward. Chip over the top from Swift, last tackle though, Miller takes it cleanly, fair play. Fair play. But let's see what Huddersfield can do now though, if they can pin Leeds back, be quick off the line but not give away stupid penalties... Could really start turning this around for them. That's Fusser 2 with a carry though. Third tackle now for Leeds. Crossover on 20 with Lockie Miller. He finds a gap though. And they get a quick play of the ball. And that's an incorrect play. Yep, yeah, incorrect play of the ball. To be fair, there's been a lot of compl complaints about the refs and the rules this season, but they've been pretty consistent with the play of the ball. I'm not sure if the like the uh, wording is new this season, but in terms of like players like falling over after they played it, I think they've been pretty consistent with it. So good sign. But Huddersfield now only thirty meters out from Leeds try line. It's twenty meters now. Still a pretty standard game. Nothing too crazy happening yet. Just a quick uh, you know line break from Oledski. But Huddersfield are in a prime position. They can spread that ball well. Adam Clune runs at the line about five metres out now. I think he had 24-20 as this score for Huddersfield. I think. I can't quite remember. That looks a little bit forward, but... Huddersfield now fourth tackle. I reckon they'll go left and then they'll spread it right. They are going left. Lola Heia props it up. Well, they just went right straight away. Connor in the middle. Back to Nakama. Huddersfield about two metres out now. Milner at dummy half. Goes left. With Clune. There's a gap in behind there. Oh my. And that's just the end of a... <sighs> Mate, if Lola here... I think it was Lola here had the ball there. Whoever was had the ball on the left... James Moore. Hi. Nice to see you. <laughs> I 
Is it the James Moore that I know? I know one. Is it the James Moore? That's the question. Um, whoever had that ball on the left, whether it was Lollahay or Clune, I've already forgotten somehow, but he probably should have just dinked that ball in behind, just grubbed that through. But Leeds are already making good progress now. Martin shoves one off. Momorowski with Roberts. Great meters from Leeds. It's fourth tackle firmly in Huddersfield's half now. It's with Smith to Croft to Miller. There's three on two on the right hand side. And you just cut to the back to the inside. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. French in for Wigan. All right. So, as of right now, it's 6-0 for Saints and I guess 4-0 pending conversion for Wigan. I think Leeds probably could have finished that set a little bit better, if I'm honest. But good metres through the middle. I think they're still winning that field position battle. But Huddersfield are not, you know, they're still competing. But Nagama carries the ball over their own 40. And he's at the halfway line now. Great carry from Kevin Nagama. So we're over 10 minutes played now. Huddersfield going to spread the ball left. Are they going to do much? Okay, dinking behind. Now you do it. That's a good little kick, actually. Great chase. That's a cracking chase. Can he get him down? That's pretty solid from Huddersfield. You support Leeds Rhinos as well. All right. So, Leeds about 25 out from their own try line. 11 minutes and 18 seconds played so far in this game. Again, nothing too crazy has happened so far aside from the Oledski line break. So yeah, 6-0 for Wigan now as well. So 6-0 for Saints, 6-0 for Wigan. And the one game that I picked hasn't got a single try in it. That's just fantastic. Last tackle though for Oli. Hits the ball long and high. Jake Connor with a take. Spreads that off. Huddersfield's going to start this set from about 15 metres out from their own line. This is going to be a it's going to be a tricky one, especially if Leeds are quick off the line. At the 20 now. 12 minutes played. I can kind of see this game. Staying like this for a little while. I feel like it, it could just kind of stay like this. It'd be a very low scoring first half. Both teams have been pretty good with penalties and six against. Almost a line break from Huddersfield there. Come on, Leeds Rhino as well. We'll see how it goes. They need a good bounce back. Results have not been kind to them, but you know, hopefully the buy's done wonders for them, you know, in prep work. Fatigue, all that good stuff. So, we'll see how it goes. But I think they've been the better of the two teams so far. Um, neither team's been exceptional, but just purely off um, the battle through the middle. Leeds look most effective right now. But the, the difference isn't big at all. But Leeds now third tackle, only 20 metres out from their own line. So, solid defensive set from Huddersfield. And Cameron Smith carries that over the 30-0. Uh, Can we get some tries, please? That would be grand. Matt Frawley, left-hand side, kicks that ball long on the last tackle. Jake Connor again with the carry. So Huddersfield's going to be in decent field position now. So they're going to start just about 40 metres out from their own line. So, Huddersfield could be in good field position, we'll see, by the end of this set. Second tackle, it's with Clune. Goes inside to Swift, he goes left. Over the halfway line. It's brought it down. 12-0 for St. Helens now. It continues. I predicted 36-0, by the way. For St. Helens. Huddersfield, fourth tackle. 
There's been a few calls for forward pass from the Leeds fans so far. 14 minutes and 18 seconds played. Fifth tackle. Huddersfield spread rights with Clune. Jake Connor kicks that ball through. That's probably the right play there. Lockie Miller takes it and... Mate, he's through. Mate, he's through. That's a solid recovery from Miller. He's still... The man's still going. Fair play. Good recovery. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Leads are through here. Newman at the halfway line now. <sighs> what a turnaround from Leeds there. To be fair, that was probably the right play from Jake Connor. Like they, if they had the the numbers on the right hand side, then I'd understand. You know, keep spreading the ball. But given that Miller would have been pinned back, I think it was still probably the right call from uh, Jake Connor to kick that ball through, put Miller under pressure. They just obviously he dealt with it extremely well. So fair play. But Leeds, Leeds could be in here. Leeds are in. Fair play. I don't think anything's gonna gonna tip that the other way. But yeah, that's uh, that's four for Leeds. Fair play. I missed it a tad. I missed a little bit of it. But that's all off the back of Lockie Miller's recovery from the goal area, and then spreading the ball down the right hand side. But that's a that's a cracking start from Leeds. Let's see, they spread the ball left, it's with Frawley, after Sangare, his arms free, offloads that ball over the top to Martin, to Momorowski, steps back inside, makes a man miss, puts it down. So yeah, Leeds have been the better team so far in this game, but that's, um, that's good work from Sangare especially, there's a knockdown from Huddersfield there, but great work from Sangare. So... 4-0 now. Can they convert? It's not like it's not the easiest one. These are always awkward where they're not like it's not right near the touchline, but it's just in a little bit. Sometimes they can get awkward, but I assume Martin's got this one in the bag. But we'll see. Momorovsky, Mar almost messed that up. Momorowski is also one that I'm a little bit unsure about because he's also a player that didn't get much game time in the NRL for the Roosters. But and it's had a pretty solid start to the season so far, so seems to look good for Leeds. And Martin converts that. Right, so we'll get this uh we'll get this change then, shall we? There we go. So, score recap. Let's have a gander. So, as of right now, Leeds 6, Huddersfield 0, St. Helens 12, Hull FC 0, Wigan 6, Castleford 0. So Leeds receive the ball, Matt Frawley gives it to Oledski. 17 and a half minutes played now. Yep, 12 nil to Saints. That could get really ugly over there. God, it's an absolute mess for Hull FC right now. Leeds making good meters though through the middle. Over their own 40. Fourth tackle. Quick play of the ball. Spreading the ball left with Smith. Frawley. Martin. Back to Frawley. Back into the middle with Smith. They're still going. Leeds are still going. Space on the left. Smith. Momorowski. That looked well forward. Kick over the top. Anyone going to get there? Frawley gets there. Jesus Christ. That looked forward. Mm. Lead spread left. Fourth tackle. Brody Croft chips to the right hand side. Any challenge? Not really. Easy take for Adam Swift. Very easy take. Mm. 
But good work from Leeds in the middle again, keeping that ball moving, offloading. Getting uh, Huddersfield out of shape in the off-the-cuff moments. I think just the way that the finishing sets is a bit questionable to me. Like these kicks into the corner or trying to spread the ball. Like in the middle of the park, they're spreading the ball well, but just like they're just not finishing sets particularly pretty. But Huddersfield now, fourth tackle up to their own 30. Last tackle now. Solid defensive set from, from Leeds here. Jake Connor's going to bang this one down the field. And Miller returns. And they'll be in great field position again, Leeds. At their own 40 on the first tackle. Croft at dummy half. It's with Roberts. Easy five metres there. Yeah, Leeds firmly on top in this game, I'd say. I've not seen enough from Huddersfield, I think. Was it a penalty that gave him the field position before, or...? Might have been a penalty. But need to see something from Huddersfield start coming back in this game because Leeds are firmly on top right now. It's just whether they can punish Huddersfield enough with all this good field position. But it's going to be last tackle. About 25 metres out, I think. So we'll see what they can do. They go short side. They're just going to bang this one up. No, they're going to play the ball. Miller, Newman... Again, last tackle for Leeds is just uneventful. Like, I mean, I get it. Like, the two times they've kicked the ball into the corner, they've not really challenged for it. So I, I understand, like, trying to spread the ball and go at them. But it's like, when you realise you haven't got the space to do it, just turn around and just fling the ball the other way. So this is, just as of right now, there's still another hour to go in this game but the only thing that I'm seeing that is going to give Huddersfield a chance in this game just as of right now is leads on the last tackle of their sets and just how they're finishing like they're easily destroying Huddersfield in the middle of the park but it's like spreading the ball and last tackle decisions are just not looking good right now for Leeds but Huddersfield firmly into Leeds territory right now Fourth tackle. Nearly offloaded that. Would have been decent for Huddersfield. 30 metres out. Jake Connor fakes the kick. Takes on the line. Good metres there from Jake Connor. Harvey Levette, dummy, dummy half. Clune with the ball is going to chip this into the right hand corner. Nagama's going to challenge. No. Momorowski takes it cleanly. Fair play. It's important for Huddersfield to keep them keep them back here now. No stupid penalties as well. But well taken from Momorowski, good stuff. And there's already a penalty. Well done, Huddersfield. Well done. What are you doing? Kudjo. God, he's been around for decades. Castleford equalised, mate. Okay. Alright. All right, you do you, Tigers. You do you. So, Wigan and Castleford currently 6-6. Six, six. So, it's still 12-0 Saints, as far as I'm aware. Let's just check that real quick. It is. So, let's have a look at try scorers real quick. So, Tommy Makinson and Johnny Lomax scored for Saints. And Bevan French, as you mentioned, for Wigan. And Lewis Senior for Castleford. Leeds in great field position now, though. Only 20 metres out. Or 10 metres out, sorry. Ledsky, Frawley, Martin, 2 metres out. Fifth tackle, here we go. What are they going to do now? Go on, go at them. Let's see some of it. Gets the ball away, Newman. Fair play, Huddersfield. Good scramble defence. Again, last tackle for Leeds. Nothing too exciting, but I think that was more Huddersfield scrambling well on that in that scenario. But that's 20, 23 and a half minutes played now. Huddersfield stuck behind their own 10. 
So it's going to be a tricky one to break out unless they spread the ball. That's one thing I've been thinking. Teams that spread the ball early, especially in Super League, like some teams do it in the NRL and they're quite successful. But it's a penalty for Huddersfield, so that, that helps them. But I think a lot more teams in Super League should spread that ball. Like first, second, third tackle. Even if it's in their own 10, own 20, just spread the ball, go at teams. I think the way that teams are set up, typically they'll be a lot tighter when defending high up the field. So just go at them. But Huddersfield now, only 35 out from Leeds try line. Yeah, damn it. That would be that would frustrate me as well. Because it's like you're in such a great position to sort of pin them back. Fifth tackle, they'd make it maybe up to the 30. And then you'll be in great field position again for the next set. Like... Just silly stuff. Huddersfield now spread the ball left. Third tackles with Clune, Lollahea. It's with Connor. Taking down a few metres out from the line now. Fourth tackle. Huddersfield in a great position. They've got to answer back. They've they're being beaten through the middle. They've got to answer back soon. Lollahea goes right with Clune. Out the back to Nagama. That looks a little bit forward. Dragged out a play. Good defence from Leeds, but... That was a dangerous pass from Nagama. He didn't even like take on the light. He didn't even try and draw anyone in. And then Wallace is dragged out. Like, like fair play f from Leeds, but like it's just Nagama's not even trying to pull anyone in there. But Huddersfield really needs to set a tone now. 18-0 for St. Helens. Huddersfield really needs to set a tone now. Keep Leeds pinned back. Because they're getting worked through the middle at the moment. Leeds are getting some quick play the balls. Easy meters. They're dragging Roberts back at the moment. So that's good. It's a good start. Let's see if the try score is up yet for St. Helens. Wonga Blake for St. Helens. Leeds in possession now. Almost at the halfway line. About 40 metres out at the moment. Third tackle. They go short side. Brody Croft. McDonald over the halfway line now. Did they get a six again? I think I missed that. So Leeds again, great field position. They'll be firmly in front of the Giants' line at the end of this set. Akers goes short side. Switches with Croft. He's found a bit of space. Tackled by Connor. Looks a little bit high, but nothing too crazy. That, that's all right with me. Yeah, 18 0 to Saints. That's Wonga Blake with the, the third try. Frawley takes on the line, fakes to go left, but he's tackled. Here we go. Can they do something with it now? Last tackle. They spread rights with Smith. Croft. Chip kicks again. No end of the goal area. What are you doing, man? I'm not even I'm not even a Rhinos fan. This is just stupid. I uh, What are you doing? It's such a waste of a set. At worst, try and get a repeat set. Kick the ball into the in-goal area and try and, like, just grubber that ball through. Make them have to put the ball out. Like, what are you doing? Such a waste of possession. That's 28 minutes gone in this game now. Ashton Golding is on. Kevin Nagama carries the ball up to about the 40 for Huddersfield. Fifth tackle, Jake Connor. Kicks it long. Tricky one for Lucky Miller. Interesting. Fair enough. Okay. Miller decides to keep the ball in. Don't think he really needed to do that. But, uh, yeah. Player down for Leeds. Lewis Roberts. Possible head knock there. 
I tell you who loves a head knock. Josh Doolis. He loves a head knock. Oh yeah, 40-20. I didn't even think about that. I think it would have been a 40-20. Fair play to Lockie Miller then. You understand now why I'm here on YouTube and he's actually at the game playing. So, yeah. I think this break's probably good for Huddersfield. Just gives them a, a second to kind of settle in. Have a quick chat. Oh, hang on a minute. There's a yellow... Maybe not. Scratch that. Yellow card for Luke Yates. Okay. Interesting. Well, let's see. So Roberts has the carry. Um... I mean, okay. I didn't really see anything like malicious in that one, but all right. Okay. Leeds Rhinos with the ball now at the halfway line. Mate, if, if Leeds don't go at Huddersfield now and spread the ball on the last tackle, like when they're right in front of the line, I'll be so disappointed. Like, you, you're in. Prime position. You've had all the you winning in the field position battle. You beat them through the middle. Quick play the balls. Is that not a knock on? All right. Anyway, you're beating them pretty much in all departments right now. And you're a man up. And if you don't do anything on the last tackle, it's going to be a bit disappointing. And mate, a dodgy offload. Lee, what are you doing, man? What? This is so so brain dead from Leeds at the moment. It's just, I mean, Huddersfield haven't particularly done, haven't done anything particularly great. But like, Leeds should kind of be running away with this one at the moment with the field position that they've had, the chances they've had. But we'll see how it goes at the end of this uh, this ten minute period. But if Huddersfield can hold out and keep it at at six nil, that'd be. A great result for them. But if they can finish the half strong, take that into the uh, locker room at half time, that'll be good for their confidence and momentum because they have been down. So they've had a few good sets through the middle. Not too many, there's a small handful. But last tackle, they're in Leeds territory now. Oh, they're going to run at them. I like this from Huddersfield. Oh no, Jake Connor's going to kick that ball short side. And it's straight into the hands of a fan in the crowd. I picked the wrong game, didn't I? I definitely picked the wrong game. Wigan vs Castle. Who would have known Wigan vs Castleford was the game to pick? <sighs> anyway, scores 24 nil to Saints. And James Bell with the try. Mark Percival's converted all four so far. Um, hope Hudders win this. Reese Martin's through, so not a great sign. Tackle by Golding, though. It's only the second tackle in this set. Acker's a dummy half. Shifts right with Miller. Croft. Kicks into the corner. That's probably in. And they're in. Leeds try. Video ref, I will say that grounding looks slightly dodgy. I need to see it again. Onside, offside, and the grounding. Onside, offside, I think is perfectly fine. But the grounding, only because I caught it like last second, that it looked like a slight bobble, but I pr he probably got it. 
Onside, offside. It's, he's five metres back. He's five metres back. And you need to check that. Okay. Right, let's just look at grounding, though. Yeah, he's grounded it. All good. So, as of right now, that is going to be 10 nil to the Rhinos. But yeah, on, um, on your comment, Hope Huddersfield win, I kind of do mainly because I predicted them to win. So... The more predictions I get correct, the more it looks like I actually know what I'm talking about, even though I probably have no idea. So, I only want Huddersfield to win for that reason. I think if, if Huddersfield can see out the rest of this Sinbin period, like if, if Leeds miss this kick, or Reese Martin misses this kick, 10 0, the clock's running down, takes a bunch of time off. I think Huddersfield are still score wise in an okay position at the moment, but Reese Martin, swing, bada bada bada, swing bada, swings that one over. Right then. And there we have it. Leeds Rhinos 12, Huddersfield Giants 0. Let's check the results around the league, shall we? So, of course, 12 0, 24 0, and 6 6. So, still the same as the last one. So, of course, Leeds are a stronger team right now. Um, Well-deserved, well-earned lead so far in this game. Huddersfield haven't looked... They haven't looked miles off, necessarily. Like, they're not playing bad. But Leeds are just doing a lot of good things, a lot, a lot of things right. Uh, of course, the, the extra man helps at the moment, but... But yeah, I don't think Huddersfield's doing anything necessarily bad. That looked forward. But a carry from Lasoni through the middle. Great meters there from Leeds again. 34 minutes played in this game now. Akers goes short side. Frawley, Martin. Cuts back inside. Offloads back to Frawley. It's with Smith. They've got the numbers on the right. If they spread it, Cam Smith makes easy meters there over the 40. Firmly into Giants territory. Final play with Croft. Short side. Flicks back to the middle. Akers. Miller. Ball comes up. Go on, Huddersfield. Just go at them. Go at them. Do something. Okay. Huddersfield, they see that one off. Fair play. Luke Yates got four minutes left on his sin bin. But Huddersfield are in decent field position now. So can they finish this set well? If they don't, I mean, probably not going to score off the back of this set, but they need to try and, you know, pin leads into a corner. So, the, you know, the kick that Jake Connor had on the uh, end of the last set. You can't be having that, but Kudjo finds a bit of space, offloads the ball. It's a knock-on from Leeds, I think. I think it's a knock-on from Leeds. Yep, yeah, okay. Right, so Huddersfield in great field position now. If they don't score off the back of this, the least they should be doing is pinning leads into a corner. Or at least trying to get some repeat sets. If you can take a few minutes off the clock getting repeat sets, and you can wear St. Helens... St. Helens, Jesus Christ. You can wear leads down for the next five minutes. Finish the half strong. Get a bit of confidence going into half time. But Masters, with the carry, only 30 metres out now. 10-6 Warriors, interesting. Thanks for letting me know. Second tackle, 36 minutes played. 
Into the middle now, Lalahea, Clune on the right hand side. Short to Kudjo. They switch the ball left. Connor in the middle. Sees some space. He's taken down. It's a good tackle there from Brody Croft. Golden goes left short side, Lalahea. Up to Masters. He's going to get tackled right in front of the try line now. Fourth tackle. Come on, this field. Can we get some out of this? Not, not even a Giants fan, but just. Clune goes right. Awful pass to Wallace. And he knocks on. Jesus Christ. What is this? Oh my God. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Right, 12 6 to Wigan. Liam Marshall with the try. Adam Kieran with both conversions so far. And that's... 24-0 to Saints. That's updated. It's about to be half-time at St. Helens as well. They're slightly ahead on minutes, I think, at the moment. Not sure how long's left on this sin bin. Should be about two minutes or so, maybe less than that. But second tackle. Leeds have been pushed back so far, so good start from Huddersfield. Come on, they need a, a strong finish to this half. That's what they really need. It doesn't necessarily have to end with points, although it would help. But if they can just wear Leeds down, get a few repeat sets. But quick play the balls now from Leeds. Akers is through. Up to their own 40. Another quick play the ball. Lasoni to Croft. Kicks that ball long. That's going to be a scrum for Huddersfield. Again. Almost out on the full there from Croft. I think they had a few more tackles in that set. I don't know if I personally agree with that. Yates is about to come on any second now. So. Will this just spur Huddersfield a little bit in the last minute and a half? Huddersfield first tackle though, just in front of their own 20. Clune at dummy half gives it to Nagama, he goes left, past the 30, about 35 out now, so 15 metres on that play, solid start from Huddersfield. Second tackle, penalty for Huddersfield, here we go, here we go, could be a strong finish to the half. Haven't been particularly great. Where are they at now? 20 metres out. So Huddersfield's going to be 20 metres out with a fresh set. 45 seconds to go. So you'd think that this is this is it. This is the last set of the game. The half, sorry. Don't know what I'm talking about. Golding at dummy half. Goes right to Clune. Left to Golding. Instantly met by a defender. But gets the ball off to Connor. Strong run from Ikehifu through the middle. 20 seconds to go now. Second tackle. They go left, Lollahea. Oh, that is nice. Is that high on Connor? Maybe not. Ooh. Take the two. Take the two. What is field penalty? Yeah, take the two, surely. So what are the Giants going to do? What are they going to do? Yeah, they'll take the two here. It's probably the best move. they just got to actually get it done. I think it sets them up nicely. Because, you know, it probably would have gone into that half... 12 points down, but at least at this point it covers you for a misconversion or you know, if you do pull out 12 points later on in the second half you're at least covered for it and could potentially take the lead so he's actually got to get it over but this could be 
And it is. Here we go. And done. All right. Interesting. So let's have a look at the halftime score. So Leeds Rhinos 12, Huddersfield Giants 2. St. Helens 24, Hull FC 0. Wigan Warriors 12, Casper Tigers 8. So they also took a penalty at half time as well. So fair enough. Interesting. Leeds and Huddersfield was like one of the games that I knew would kind of go either way. I lent towards Huddersfield in my predictions video, but Saints I knew would batter Hull and Wigan. I thought they'd be a bit more comfortable against Casford right now, but 12 8. I mean, the result is, as it stands right now, is to be expected. <sighs> right. So, at half time, Leeds have been the better team, they've earned that lead. Defence has been pretty solid. They've not allowed many easy metres from Huddersfield. I think the worst thing from Leeds' defence so far in the first half was probably just the discipline, so giving away the penalty. So they could have pinned Huddersfield back a little bit more, but the discipline didn't help them. So um, that's what gave Huddersfield a lot of their field position. But defending their own line, pretty solid. On the side of Huddersfield, spreading the ball has been all over the place. Absolutely shocking. When they get into like the second phase, when they get the offloads, they look a little bit more creative, a little bit more dangerous, because then it you know it throws leads out of shape. But they're not finishing those plays very effectively. Defensively, I think Huddersfield has been somewhat resilient, like a little bit, but they're just getting beaten through the middle of the park. A lot of quick play the balls from leads. Um. A couple line breaks, a few off the cuff moments help them to kind of open up Huddersfield a bit. But yeah, Leeds firmly earned that one, I think, so far. But Huddersfield don't look to me; they don't look completely out of it. They just haven't, they just haven't done much. So I'm, I'm expecting a, a stronger second half. It's just if Leeds can set that same kind of tone at the start, restrict meters from Huddersfield. And win the field position battle early on. Huddersfield ain't coming back in this game. But of course keep in mind that there was a yellow card in there for Luke Yates. So it's just about, I think the best thing for Huddersfield, don't worry about rushing to put points on the board. If you just get in good field position, try and get some repeat sets. And just, you know, just don't rush it. Be patient. You've got 40 minutes to get two tries and two kicks. That's it. It's just two tries and two kicks, but you've got 40 minutes to do it. Just be patient. And uh, the moments will come. They'll get more chances. I still don't like how Leeds have been finishing their sets, though. It's a bit... It's not like they don't know what they're doing. It's just... They're just not executing particularly effectively. That's the biggest complaint for, for Leeds on the last tackle at the moment, but... I don't know if I've picked the right game. I've not changed the channel at any point to see any of the other games. So if anyone else is watching them and flicking through, did I pick the right game? Has this been the better game of the three? I get the feeling that Wigan vs Castleford is actually more exciting. But I'm pretty sure later on in this second half it'll be, be a much closer affair. Let's have a look at these tries from Wigan. So, Harry Smith chips the ball over into the left-hand corner. Marshall with a first-time catch. That's pretty nice. Let's have a look at Saints. 
Oh, Simon Griggs in charge. Okay, fair enough. He was at Halifax Panthers last year, I think. Straight through the middle from Saints there on that try. Straight through the middle. In my opinion, Huddersfield looked like uh, they don't want to do anything. Leeds are too busy trying to be Spitzer. Fair point, Ryan. That's, uh, that's a fair point. Huddersfield kind of looked that way. They... <sighs> Doesn't really seem to be that intent from Huddersfield to kind of like doesn't doesn't feel like they have an idea of exactly what they want to do, and yeah, Leeds are too busy trying to be spectacular with the finishing. Exactly that, like they're doing all the hard work through the middle, the quick play of the balls, you know, the the small line breaks to get those quick play of the balls. They're dominating through the middle, but the way that they're finishing these sets are just it's abysmal. It's really abysmal, but in the off-the-cuff moments where they're spreading the ball and they're offloading it through the middle is where they're finishing off well. That's how Momorowski got his try off the back of some great work from Lockie Miller in the goal area. But yeah, you're exactly right, Ryan. It's just... I, I, Huddersfield will still get their chances in the second half, but it's just... I don't know. It's not been the prettiest game. I still think there's more to come from Huddersfield. Leeds haven't been perfect. They've not been clean. But for me, firmly the better team. It is a hard game, I agree. I need to see the Simbin again, actually. Right. Okay. Right. The arm was swinging. It makes contact with the head. So, if by the letter of the law, as it's a swinging arm, closed fist, hits the head, Simbin, I get it. In terms of application like how it actually looked it looked a little bit soft so I agree with John Wilkin probably a penalty like if I'm the ref and it's I, I get to subjectively decide I'm giving a penalty for that there's no way I'm giving a sim bin for that but if I have to of course go off the letter of the law if I'm correct it should be a sin bin but again the rules at the moment are pretty soft so I think just a penalty is fine you're right, it's not been a pretty game. It's been fun to sit here and watch from the south stand. You're in the south stand. If you could do us a massive favour, Ryan, if you get on the screen and just hold your phone up, that'll do wonders for the channel. Thanks, Ryan. Um, but yeah... Completed set. Huddersfield completed more higher rate of sets. Leeds have had more sets. Slightly more possession, so. <laughs> Which, um... Which stand is the south stand, actually, Ryan? I'm not sure which one's which. You try your best. <laughs> Cheers, Ryan. Appreciate that. Oof. Big claims from John Wilkin. Just said the mentality's weak from Huddersfield. It's a bold statement. I don't know if I fully agree with that. Hmm. Interesting. Do I agree with that? 
I don't know if I agree with it, but I don't know if I disagree with it. But I understand where he's coming from. I get it. I do get it. I can't wait for London Broncos to get a win this year. I can't wait. But it'll be against my team. Their, their first and only win will be against my team. I just know it. Right, okay, I get you. So, one on TV, away, away team to the left. Clock stands to the right. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So, I've been seeing you this whole time, is what you're telling me. That you, you've been, you are famous and that you've been on TV this whole time and I just, I had no idea. Please forgive me. So this is the bit that I just This is the bit that I just hate. Just adds just crap. Whilst we wait. Don't know if I've been on TV, I'm sat close to East Stand and quite high up. East Stand will be the one with the clock then. So top right. I think the closest you would have been to being on TV was when Jake Connor put it out on the full to the uh, the front of the crowd. It's probably the one time you were closest to being on on TV. <laughs> Leeds Leeds will fall apart again. We'll see, Kevin. We will see. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm going to tell you my claim to fame right on TV. This, this is big. This is huge in the world of rugby league. Okay, it was a twenty, twenty, thirteen. It was twenty twelve or twenty thirteen. I'm a wire fan. We're playing Castleford at home. We're playing in some like camouflage kit. I think it was a charity kit that we brought brought out around the around the time. And I think it was Mickey Hyam scored a try to the right of the sticks in front of the east stand, which is where I sit. And it was in line with, with me, so the, the goal post was in between the where the conversion was and myself. The ball ends up with me. This is the first and only time it's ever happened that I've touched the ball. And this is 2012-2013. Wolfie is like kind of in front of me, in line with me, on the pitch. And instead of throwing that ball back on, I kick it. And it bangs him on the head. And if you could go back and listen to it, you hear the crowd cheer. And that's because I hit Wolfie on the head with the ball. It was a pinpoint kick. Jonathan Thurston-esque, I guess you could say. Unfortunately, they didn't sign me from that point on. Would have been a great chance to put me into the academy. But just saying. So that's my that's my claim to fame. I was also got, also a mascot one. Uh, no, I was a mascot twice. How did I forget? I was a mascot once for Warrington. It was 2000, 2005, 
against Harlequins. I walked out with... There was me and two other lads who walked out with Lee Briers. And I was a mascot for England against France in Doncaster during the Four Nations. They went through... During the National Anthem, they went... You know when they show the kids in front of the players? They went through. And they stopped. Like, they changed angles right before me. So I was about to be next up, and then they cut away. But then they sort of panned out later on. And then I just sort of gave a thumbs up. But I was I was mascot for uh, Michael Shenton. And I got a, an autograph from Tony Smith. He'd just been announced as the new Warrington Wolves head coach. And I had a, a Warrington shirt underneath the like the standard top that they gave us for the uh, for all the mascots. So I got him to sign sign my wire shirt. Finally, second half. So I had to fill this with some kind of yapping. So hopefully it was enjoyable enough. Well, there's a bit about me. But, here we go. Here we go. Finally, second half continues. We're underway. Huddersfield received the ball. There's a good, strong carry off the bat there. So Huddersfield start the set on their own 20. I see some intent from the Giants. I see them go at Leeds. Will Kevin be right? Will Kevin be right? Are they on 30? Yates with a carry over on 40. Good start, good speed. Can they back it up with a you know, good second half of this set? They spread left, Lola Heia, over the halfway line now. Okay, so probably won't be scoring any points off the back of this, but can they you know, get it into the corner, pin leads back, have a good defensive set? Ikahihifo carries the ball over the leads 40. Really strong opening set. Very strong. It's with Kloon. Hits the ball to the back right. Good chase here from Nagama. Roberts takes the ball and he's tackled on their own 10. Right. Good. Really good start from Huddersfield. And they're all set. Defensively, they're all set. Ready to go. They pushed up. Leeds just made two metres on that carry. So, cracking start. Lucky Miller with a carry, though. Second phase. Get some easy metres. They're over the 20 now. And it's... It's already 30 nil to Saints. And I predicted 36 nil being a little bit safe. So... Excuse me. How dare I. But leads up to their own 40 now. Fifth tackle. Go right to Brodie Croft. Or they don't. Goes to McDonnell and he has to kick the ball instead. But Jake Connor receives a ball on the 20. Gives that ball off to Wallace. And Huddersfield will start their set from their own 30. Two minutes gone in this second half. But good intent from Huddersfield. they just got to keep it up. They've got to wear leads down as much as they can to really get back into this game. If they get a, a try and a conversion... That's that's it. They're just fully in this game again. Golding with the carry goes to the right. They're in Leeds territory now. 40 metres out. Fourth tackle. You go left with Clune. Olahea. Connor. Over the 30. Up to the 20. Masters tries to offload. 10 metres out now. Great, great play from Huddersfield there. Great metres. Connor in the middle of the park. Looks to go right, goes left. Ugh. Okay. Shocking little kick through there. Easily taken by Brody Croft, but can Huddersfield pin them back now? That's what we need to see from them. So not a great way to finish, but it's just about wearing leads down. That's all they've got to try and do at the moment. Tackle three, leads only at the 10 or just over their own 10. So good start. Nothing silly from Huddersfield. Miller with the next carry. Leeds should cross their own 20 on this tackle now. Akers takes the carry through the middle. 
And it's going to be fifth tackle. Leeds will kick from behind their own 30, which is pretty poor. Matt Frawley, left-hand side. Kicks that ball long. It's taken by Wallace. Oof. Almost dropped that one. But he's going to get up to, up to his own 40. So the Giants in good field position here. Just can they do anything with it? That's the question. Jake Conner has had some horrible decisions tonight. He has. He really has. And I think he gets a bad rap sometimes. I think he's quite an intelligent player. Very skillful player. Like, on the whole, intelligent. But, yeah, does make some poor decisions. I think in his mind, needs to be a bit more calm. But Huddersfield now, fourth tackle. Golden goes right with Clune to Connor. There's a good good bullet pass to Nagama there. Ten metres out now, Kujo at dummy half, fifth tackle. It's with Connor to Clune. Spreads left, here we go, here we go. Master sees a bit of space. He's in. There we go. There we go, Huddersfield. Again, not a Giants fan, but... The chipping away, really good intent second half. Really, really good intent. Right, 12-6 as it stands. With a kick to come. So yeah, first five minutes in the second half. Real good intent from Huddersfield, just the way that they've finished the sets previously. But they spread the ball, executed well. I thought they maybe messed that one up because the scrambled events from Leeds was good. Like, they shifted quickly. Like, they really got across. And they cut that off. But that step inside from Masters. Skillful player. Sees a gap. Barges over the line. Gets that ball down. So, fair play. Real good intent from the Giants. Well executed. But Jake Connor's an interesting one, right? Because he's a versatile player, can play fullback, can play centre, can play standoff. So he's versatile. I just he feels to me like one of those players like under the right coach could really thrive. So like as a wire fan, I, I would take Jake Connor at Warrington because he is a great player. And I think under Sam Burgess and his kind of style, the way he kind of conducts himself, could mould Jake Connor into the right professional. <laughs> Jake Connor giving it the biggins. But as I was saying, the reason why I would take Jake Connor at Warrington is because I think Sam Burgess would mould him into a much better professional. Make him better with decisions, as you say. Um, and, uh... <laughs> SN Masters... There's no way SN Masters literally just did the uh, the bloody sketch celebrate. There's no way. Swift's in already. Mate. I'm trying to edit the last score. I've not even I've not even edited the last one. Right, there we go. It's up. Or it should be. Huddersfield go right. Oof, Wallace is in. Mate, this is Right, there we go. Now it's up. Absolute professionalism. Uh, not going to lie, they've started off better here. Hope the Leeds haven't decided to switch off like they just demonstrated. Well, I mean, that's one way of looking at it, is that Leeds switch off. But also, at the same time, Huddersfield were kind of... They weren't really in the game, so they kind of had to come out with a bit of fight and a bit of pace. So... And because they're chasing the game, if a team really has the will to go at them, then... Uh, then it'll be a struggle for anybody. I think he's got this down. Looks good. Yeah, that's good. That's a that's another try there. <laughs> I 
And this is why the penalty in the first half was so important. This is exactly what I was talking about. So... Right, here we go. That's going to be 12 all. With a kick to come. I was, li I was literally editing the overlay for the last try and, and all of a sudden Swift's at their own, like, Swift's at the halfway line. 34-0 to Saints? Bloody hell. Let's have a look. Who scored for... Let's have a look how this went. Icky focus through. Swift sees a bit of space. Fussy 2, I can't get him. Miller can't grab him. Newman doesn't get him down. And they spread the ball. 38 nils. Bloody hell, James, calm down, calm down. I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to get to the last one. All right, 38. Okay. Right, so as of right now, 12 12 in this game, obviously. 38 nil to Saints, as you say. So, James Bowe's the last one. So, Joe Batchelor, Mark Percival, and Comrade Horrell, the three try scorers in the second half so far. Wigan up by 24 to 8. Try scorers are Ryan Hampshire with two. And Harry Smith with the two conversions in the second half. So, interesting stuff. I guess I did pick the right game. 14 nil to Saints right now, actually. Jake Connor steps up. Here we go. Oof! He's hit the post, mate. Oh, mate. Game on indeed. Game on indeed, Kyle Amor. Oh. Fair play to Nagama for letting that ball go and leaving it, not touching it. Like, that. you know, fair play. I was cracking past there from, I think it was Kudjo. It's on. It is on. Right, Huddersfield start the set from their own 10. Good pushback there from three Leeds players. So yeah, 14 0 to Saints, 24-8 to Wigan. And 12 all in this game. So yes, as of right now, I picked the right game. I knew I knew what I was talking about. I knew it really. There's a knock on from Huddersfield. Well done, Huddersfield. Hmm. See, that's the kind of stuff I hate. Like, I understand that's going to happen. Like, knock-ons will happen. They'll beat errors in the game. I get it. But, like, when it's directly after you've put in the good work to have to equalise, not even, like, you've, like, stretched out um, stretched out a lead. Like, you've just... You've brought it back. And you need to kick on from there. And then you just do something silly like that. But leads, this could really turn things around for them. Because they've not... I'm trying to think if they had a single. I don't think they've been down here at all in this second half. That look forward. But Reese Martin, 20 metres out now. Third tackle. First tackle. Ledsky, just over the 20 now for Leeds. Up towards the 10. 51 minutes gone in this game. Saints fans will be getting drunk. They might still be drunk from that Challenge Cup defeat, to be fair. You know, get the pain away. Lucky Miller finds a gap. Momorowski's in. Good work there from Momorowski. 16-12. Or Lucky Miller, actually. Good work from Lucky Miller. Finding that gap. It was pretty pretty tight in there, but... Just got his upper body ahead of the, uh, the defence so he could get that ball off. Good work. So it's with Croft to Lasoni, straight to Miller, swift out of position. They've got the numbers. Easy enough try. Fairly tough kick. Not an easy one by any means, but it's Reese Martin. Very reliable. So leads back in front. Good response. Of course, gifted by the uh the knock on from Huddersfield, but you know, given the opportunity. Few tackles later, they make it count. <laughs> I 
Adam Kieran has picked up a knock during the three during oh during the winging all right fair enough thanks for letting me know Alan is it like a a knock that's taking him out of the game or just one where it's like don't uh what's the word don't aggravate it by taking on the kicks if you know what I mean if that makes sense Reese Martin steps up Reese the crowd goes wild Eighteen. What? Well, mm. Harry Newman was taken off. Okay. As a tactical change, apparently. Interesting. Okay. That was a good response. Just have to keep them out for the rest of the game. Yeah, it was a cracking response. Well, that doesn't help. And that's a good response from Huddersfield. Uh, he's been subbed off for Zach Eckers. All right, thanks, Alan. So unfortunate. Don't like hearing about injuries and stuff, but hopefully he's he's all right. Nothing too. Well, hopefully it's nothing too bad. But cheers, Alan. Right. So not great from Huddersfield after equalising, but great response off the back of conceding that try. And as I say that, they just gave away a penalty. Well done, Huddersfield. Commentators curse, as they say. Holding down. Yeah, just about. 54 minutes gone now. 18-12 to Leeds. I could still see my scoreline happening because I think I said 24-20 to Huddersfield so if Leeds get a penalty I think they'd probably take the two like they think okay well let's take an eight point gap and then Huddersfield I could still see them scoring two tries in this game but you know the, the game's you know at this point we can see it you know ebbing and flowing really changing Leeds in good position now up to Huddersfield's 30 it's going to be fourth tackle now Towards the right-hand side, Akers at dummy half, goes towards the middle. It's ball with Frawley, they've got numbers on the left. Lucky Miller breaks one. It's taken down by Wallace and Kudjo. Last tackle with Frawley. Oh my! Okay. And that's a try for Leeds. Okay, cracking line run from there, from uh, Jared O'Connor there. Bullet pass from Frawley. Fair play. It was a cracking run and a bullet pass from Frawley. It was well executed, really well executed. Well, wasn't looking great for Leeds, and now all of a sudden, they look they look more comfortable with this lead than they did in the first half, just performance-wise. Even though they they lost that lead in the first place, forty-four nil to Saints. You say, damn, forty-six now. So that's um, Curtis Sirinen. With the try and Jonathan Benison with the conversion. Still 28-8 to Leeds. Liam Marshall just scored a try. Has Abbas Miski scored yet? No, he hasn't. Liam Marshall with two. These two teams are bad as each other. I, I wouldn't say bad. Just not great. These two teams are just not as great. Are just not that great as each other. I wouldn't say they're bad teams. They've not played particularly well. Like, there's been some awful stuff. 
So I get where you're coming from, but hmm, I don't know. It's been a tough game. I don't think Huddersfield's out of it yet. There's still, what, 23 minutes to go? I mean, Wigan not leads. Um... Oh, did I say Abbas Miski for Leeds? If that's what I said, then yeah, of course I meant Wigan. Sometimes I say something incorrect, like just a flat out false statement, and then just completely forget that I said it. So if if it was Abbas Miski for Leeds, if that's what I said, then yeah, I obviously meant Wigan. Um, okay, forty six nil. For Saints, 28-8 for Wigan. All right. Possession, slightly in favour of Leeds, 53-47. to Completion rate, 84%. I missed that. I'm not going to pause it. But... What is field with the ball now? Fourth tackle. Barely gotten anywhere. On their own 30. They're going to spread the ball now, are they? Connor goes left. Got a bit of space here. Masters. Nearly towards the halfway line. Alright, Warriors 28-8. Jake Connor with a kick on the last tackle. Bombs out high and long. Miller takes it cleanly. And Leeds will start the set from about 33 metres out from their own line. So, Leeds in good position at the moment. And that is 59 minutes gone. Reese Martin takes that ball over the halfway line now for Leeds. They spread right to Croft, goes back inside to Smith. Smith gets a bit of space on the left hand side, makes some good meters. Frawley in the middle now to Sangare. Looking for an offload, doesn't get it, gives it to Kudjo. I think a fair attempt from Sangari to get that ball off, but I think it was just taking too long to decide. But Huddersfield start their set in a good position at the moment, so can they end it well? 30 nil to Warriors, or 30, 38 to Wigan, you say. Harry Smith with the conversion. All right. And 46 nil to Saints, as of right now. Interesting. So... Yeah, those are the two games going as expected. This one, kind of as expected, because it's still a bit of a back and forth game, a bit, you know, a bit of a tough one for for both teams. I understand, like when I picked Huddersfield to win, I understood that Leeds could absolutely win this game. I think just based off recent form, that's why I went for the Giants. But some good um, good meters made here from Huddersfield. Last tackle though, down the right hand side, in the middle to Connor. They're going to make him rush, but they'll spread the ball left with Lola Haya. To Levet Masters sees a bit of space. Can he get that ball off? He can. With Swift, does he knock the ball on? No. Keeps the ball through towards the goalposts. Miller takes the ball. Obstruction. Obstruction. Wait. Penalty for Leeds. Might have been an offside chase, I'm not too sure. I didn't, I didn't fully see what the issue was with that, but we move. We move. Anyway, Leeds Rhinos will start their set after a penalty from about 35 metres out from their own line. Unlucky into that set. Yeah. Yeah, they were rushed a little bit and did okay to make some good metres, put in a bit of a challenge at the end. Um, do you think Warrington letting Dwyer go was a mistake? I do not. I do like him. I think he brings a lot of energy. Um, and I liked him when, like, during his first stint at Warrington. But I just don't think, given the current setup at Warrington, he's not needed. He doesn't really fit in anywhere else. So, I, I think he'll bring a lot of energy to anybody. But I personally don't think it, it was a mistake letting him go. 
It was a weird one bringing him in. But at least we managed to offload him. I think... I think he's a he's an okay player. Maybe he was a bit hard done by by um, Hull FC fans because they weren't playing particularly great, and they just sort of latched onto a couple. Some of them latched onto the new signings and just went at them like they were the problem. But I think it was a bit harsh on him. But no, I don't think it's a mistake letting him go. Anyway, Huddersfield have the ball now. Swift carries the ball through the middle, thirty meters out from their own line. Golding at dummy half. It's a decent carry there up to the 40 now. Huddersfield spreading the ball. Look to spread the ball left up, make a bit of ground through the middle. Third tackle. Good meters here from Huddersfield. Firmly into Rhino's territory. 46 0 to Saints. Jesus Christ. Golding goes left. Lola here to Connor out the back. Up to Masters. Sees a bit of space. Can he get the ball off? He's brought down. Can they get a quick play of the ball? Swift sees a gap. Oh my god, that is beautiful. Oof. Excellent work from Liam Sitt. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Right, so Chris Kendall's said that if it's a no try, it's still going to be offside against Leeds, so Huddersfield will get the ball back either way. Let's have a look, and that's a try. Grounding's good, he's in play. Well done from Swift. Good work. Really good work. So that's 22-16 now. <laughs> 14 tries in the last 8 matches for Swift. Jesus. He's always been a solid player to be fair, Swift. Always been really solid. I think... I think every fan base would be very happy to have him. I mean, you might already be happy, like, I'm happy with Ashton, but if we lost him and had to get Swift, I wouldn't be disappointed, is what I mean. I'd be disappointed losing Ashton, but if he was the replacement, I wouldn't be disappointed. Top five try scorers, Dufty on seven, Inner Senior seven, Handley seven, Marshall and Swift both on nine. Jake Connor with a conversion. And that's ended up in Doncaster. So that's going to be 22-16. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait. Did I? Oh, my bad. My bad, guys. Excuse me a moment. I had the score wrong there. Let's just fix that real quick. There we go. Apologies. It was 24 for Leeds. Forgot about the kick. 65 minutes gone in this game. So, there's a good 15 to, to go here at the moment. This game's it's hotting up. Oh, did I predict 24? I think I predicted 24. <sighs> I've got it written down. I'll have a look. Why don't I do the smart thing and just actually look at what I put? Put my notepad here. 26-18 to Huddersfield. That's what I went with. 26-18. So, 14 minutes to go in this game. Fifth tackle for Huddersfield. They spread the ball left. It's with Lola Heia. They're going to... Take a run at them. I like this. It's with Masters. He's found a gap. Swift on the left. He's going to take on the line. Gets the ball. Oh my. Huddersfield are bloody doing it, mate. Okay. 
Man, I'm liking this intent from Huddersfield. Like, they could just easily have kicked the ball a couple times. But, mate, they're, they're going at leads down this left-hand side and they're coming up with some... Even when they haven't come up with tries, they're coming up with, like, good metres and putting them under pressure. So, that's solid. It was, like, around the halfway line, wasn't it, when they started that set? Or the... Yeah, it was, like, near the halfway line. They just bloody went at them. Swift to the inside, gets the offload. Harvey Levett's there in support. So this is a big kick, actually. <laughs> but yeah, Aston Masters has been quality this game. 50 nil to Saints, DL. 52 nil. so Wanga Blake with a second try. And Jonathan Benison with another conversion. And still 38 to Wigan. Saints to hit 60, maybe? They found a weakness in this near side and pushing us for it. Yeah, pushing us for it. Yeah, they, uh, well, they were saying just after the, the half started about it, a tactical change taking off Harry Newman. I don't know how tactical that really was, but. And again, the balls ended up in Doncaster. All right. See, we've seen from a few games so far this season that kicking is vastly important to the outcome. Like uh, Hull KR versus Warrington. I think uh, Hull KR missed six points worth of kicks and Warrington missed eight points worth. I think if Huddersfield have had their conversions, they'd, uh, they'd be leading, so... But there's, you know, 12 minutes to go. This ain't finished. This I can see another two, maybe even three tries scored in this time. But it certainly isn't over. Huddersfield now spread the ball. In the middle of the park, they go right with Kudjo. Crosses over the halfway line now. Fourth tackle coming up for Huddersfield. Good, good meters on this set. Golding at dummy half. Goes left. Lola Heyer. Jake Connor, they attack this left side. Essen Masters gets the ball. It's going to shake off a few players and get tackled in the middle of the park. 40 metres out now, last tackle for Huddersfield. With Jake Connor, bombs that ball high. Good chase from Nagama. And it's a knock on from Roberts. Double knock on there. But Huddersfield, prime position to attack. Surrounded by players. Wasn't... No one else really challenged for the ball. They, they kind of just let him take it. But but he's a young lad. Still inexperienced. So, you know, it's going to happen. Huddersfield. Will they go at them straight off the scrum? We will see. Clean's going to play this ball in. They go to the right-hand side. Uh, he's going to get tackled 10 metres out. They go short side. Kudjo sees a bit of space but makes some good metres. Huddersfield now one metre out. Kudjo plays the ball. Golding at dummy half. They spread towards the middle. To Kloon, still going left. Lollahea to Levette. A little bit further out now, about nine, eight or nine meters out from the line. Golding goes short side. Fourth tackle. They've not done too much down this right hand side, so we'll see. Are they going to go at them? They're in the, oh, bit of space there for Clune. Oh my god, what a ball! Oh my god! Nagama's in. God, that just that was wide open. It's 24 all, mate. Poor DL, what a game this is. I know you're probably not liking it, Ryan, but for for the neutral, this is a cracking game. <laughs> 24 all with a kick to come. Jake Connor, it rests on your shoulders again.
Oof, great little offload from Jake Connor there. Lola here takes on the line. Clune sees a big gap. Aims towards Frawley. Gets it to, to Connor. Quickly offloads that to Nagama and he's in. It's all square. It's all bloody square. God, what a game this is. Let's have a look. Any changes to the other scores yet? 52-0 to Saints and 34-8 to Wigan. Abbas Miski with a try. Come on. I haven't got a... Are we... Are we okay? Are we... Okay. I think we're back. Right. Are we good? I think we're good. I hope we are. Apologies for that. This is the first time I'm streaming on this new PC that I've got, so it's I'm hoping that everything's good. But mate, come on, that was right. Well, Doncaster's got two new balls, and that one's just gone to York. So, all right, we continue to move. We are Kevin. Hopefully, Leeds can switch on. I think Leeds. I don't think either team's finished at the moment. There's still, you know, seven and a half minutes to go. I, someone is going to score again. Huddersfield goes short side, maybe forward there from Olahea. But however, the vet plays the ball. Connor, early kick, third tackle. I like this. Nagama's chasing. Miller's under a lot of pressure now. That is quality. Excellent. Oh my god. Excellent stuff from Huddersfield. Wow. What a fight in this game. What a fight. Miller's not happy, but ball carrying arm was never down. So... Yeah, I think I think that's fair enough. Fair play. Short dropout attempt, mate. Frawley is livid. Huddersfield asking them the important questions of what the hell was that? I left out a few words in there, but you probably guess what, what they were really asking. So the scores on the doors, Saints 52-0 and Wigan 36-8 at the moment. Right, Jake Connor. I'm going to back you to get this one. And I'm going to I'm going to put up the score before it's even happened. Oh, he got it. He bloody got it. Hmm. Hasn't changed for some reason. There we go. Oh, Harry Newman's hurt his back apparently. Okay. Oof. 
five minutes to go. Definitely pick the right game. Four and, four and a half minutes left. Huddersfield Giants in possession. 20 metres out from their own line. Carry the ball through the middle. See, one thing that they do in the NRL is if you convert a drop goal from past the 40 metre line, then it's two points, which I kind of agree with. Because it adds a nice little dynamic into the game. Because if you can get a drop goal from... 40 meters out then kind of like you know fair enough is two points so i i would introduce that rule i don't think it's imperative that we do but if we did i wouldn't be disappointed about it well, lewis roberts with the carry now just less than four minutes to go sir i'm gonna yawn it's not like the game's boring me i just need oxygen Watson looks calm, but he's probably bricking it inside. Croft props the ball up from Momorovsky. Akers at dummy half. Leads spread it left. With Frawley. Miller jammed up quickly, gives it to Reese Martin. Off to Roberts, and he cuts inside. Leads fourth tackle now, just across the halfway line. Three minutes to go. Lasoni. Quick play the ball there. Akers goes short side. Frawley. Last tackle. That look forward. Smith. Oof. Knock on from Nagama. The letting it go. Clunes through. Lucky Miller. Can he get him? Clune has just scored. Oh my god. They're going to check that. Surely. They're not even, they're not even going to check it. Right. I think that would mm, is that not worth a video ref let's let's just see let's just see how it, how it went down because it all happened very quickly so right so they spread left hmm I think it's okay. Mm, no, it's not okay. That deflects off Reese Martin. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, that's not a try. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Never like to see that, unfortunately. Thank you, James. 58... 58 nil to Saints, Jack Wellsby try, Benison conversion. Who did I say to score for... I think I said... <sighs> Benison try for Saints? And Connor's missed it. But a minute to go, it was only a six point gap. If he got that, that would have been game over. But a minute to go. And full time Wigan Castleford thirty six fourteen Road Mills try and conversion. So fair play, a little better from Castleford than I thought. Connor comes up with the ball. Can they get them to hurry up and play this ball quickly? That is the question. Jake Connor taking all the time in the world. Leads are taking too long. What? Mate, what are you doing? Like, you don't have the luxury. 
like you don't have the luxury of just sitting on players. You need to tackle them and get off. Mate, play the ball. I hate all that stuff. And that's a punch from the Sony. That's a lucky Millicent bin. Okay. Even though, well, it looked like, looked like a punch from Sam Lasoni. And that's full time. Interesting. Very interesting. My issue with that... Okay. On balance... Um, the pass from... I think it was... Hmm, I think it was from Smith was slightly forward only slightly but they've let quite a few forward passes go in this game so it's not the worst forward pass by any means but that should have been a knock on from Nagama it was a knock on because he touched the ball first and then it hit Reese Martin so typical from Leeds switching off when it really matters yes yeah, it's, um, it's unfortunate you know, like, uh, you know, Kevin was saying before about, you know, these are two bad teams. They're not perfect by any means. I think it's two... It's two okay teams. But Leeds need to... They need to bounce back soon. It's too many losses on uh, in the last few games. They really need to bounce back. Rowan Smith's job might be ending sooner than we think. Maybe. Very maybe. Just based off recent form. Because he, he was under pressure early on. Then it kind of looked okay for a short period. But to be fair, Hull FC, they need a coach. So. But the thing is. See, that might work out quite nicely. Because Leeds, I think, have more of the international pull. So they could maybe get someone from the NRL. Or find someone of a higher calibre. Whereas Hull FC right now, probably not so much. So if Leeds got rid of Rowan Smith, Hull FC pick him up. And Rowan Smith's also then under less pressure to perform because look at the results that Hull's already had. It can't get any worse. It literally cannot get any worse. So Rowan Smith can come in, have little to no pressure, and then Leeds bring in whoever they like, whether they use someone that's already on the staff or bring in someone else. Who knows? But I was thinking another one that might work out is maybe Paul Wellens to Hull FC. Because there was some question marks. So, like, there's a lot of Saints fans calling to get rid of Paul Wellens recently. And I was thinking that he is... He's not, like, that close to being on the chopping block, but... I think it'd be a, a few more weeks of poor Saints performances before that would happen, but... Very dominant... From uh, from Saints today, as expected. Essen Masters player of the match. I agree. I firmly agree. I think every time he had the ball, he looked dangerous, created some great opportunities. So yeah, Masters man of the match. Sounds good to me. God, yeah, it was tw it was twelve two at half time to Leeds twelve two. So that that second half, Huddersfield won twenty eight twelve. Jesus Christ.
Hmm. Um, ooh, okay. Right. So I think I'll probably sign off shortly. But I think overall both teams not perfect by any means. A bit shaky. Both need some really need some work. Some of the intent from Huddersfield early on just wasn't there, but second half came out firing, really set the tone. But really solid from them. Um I'm just gonna play a quick add or two and then sign off after that, but to all those that showed up, thank you so much and, and for interacting. This is like the most engagements I've had on a live stream um, so far, and that's probably TikTok. I didn't see the last 20 had leads lose from 20 <laughs> from 24 12 up. Um, how did they? Jeez. Um, just some of the decisions made from Huddersfield down the left hand side, they were pretty quick. You know, linking from Clune to Lola Heya to Connor to Masters. And then to Swift, like they linked up well. Um, Leeds always on the back foot from their right side defensively. So, yeah, a lot of those meters, a lot of tries came from Huddersfield's left. Um, and they just made better decisions, really. And they just, momentum just just shifted. Just shifted massively. Leeds, you know, was still always in there. Because, you know, momentum kept shifting back and forth. But, yeah, it was... Uh, it was a real solid fight back. That second half intent from Huddersfield was, was quality. 